For more than three decades, wildlife experts have been moving Canada geese. Yes, it's Canada. From one side of the state to the other. Zach Mooney joins us live in the studio with details on the Great Reno Goose Roundup. Zach, this happens around the same time each year. And, and every year there's that debate. Canadian, Canada geese, right? Well, actually, yeah, we did look it up and the biologists all kept saying Canada goose. But the reason they choose this time of year to do this roundup is because most of the geese can't fly. And the biggest reason they do it is because of traffic. No, not that traffic. This traffic. Not so much eliminate, but greatly reduce the risk of Canada geese flying in the aircraft. For about a week each year, wildlife experts and volunteers round up geese in urban and suburban areas. Once they get them into a single pen, it's tagging time. Now go sideways with him. There you go, giddy up. The birds are moved to a wildlife refuge in eastern Nevada. That keeps the birds out of our flight path and in a natural environment. It's very unnatural to have this many large Canada geese this far north and they don't migrate anymore. The bird's molting period is about two weeks each year where they lose their flight feathers. They're not supposed to be able to fly. Today we had some flyers, but it's all right. And volunteers with the Nevada Air National Guard help out each year. We, we typically ask for a pool of volunteers from the base that are our top performers. You know, I'm always looking for other things to help out around the community. It's, it's a big part of being in the military, so anytime they say, hey, we got something to go do, my hand's first one to go up. Even little kids can help out. But the um, brown oh. little ones are, are gone. That's silly. They went to some place. Just too cute. Now these roundups take about a week and they take place in Reno, Carson, and Tahoe because obviously the birds travel. Biologists say tagged birds have been seen from as far south as Texas to as far north as Alberta, Canada, which they say is evidence that they are indeed migrating. Covering the story in the studio, Zach Mooney, Channel 2 News.